Hello, welcome to the video on adding RAM to Minecraft. First, let's talk about how much RAM you exactly need. So for vanilla Minecraft, really and truly two gigabytes of RAM dedicated to Minecraft, probably enough. But if you really, really want to make sure things are going to work, you could up that to four gigabytes of RAM. It's overkill, but if your computer has it, you might as well do it. Now, when we move on to modded Minecraft, that's when things start to change a little bit. If you have less than 50 mods, or if you're running shaders, usually four gigabytes of RAM is enough to handle that. There are some edge cases where really resource intensive mods might require more, but 90% of the time, four gigabytes is enough for 50 or less mods. As we move into medium sized mod packs, let's say between 50 to 150 mods, you should probably upgrade your RAM to about six gigabytes. That's usually enough to handle those without much of any issues. And you'll be able to launch relatively quickly in comparison to having four gigs of RAM, which they might do, but it's gonna be slow and you're gonna experience crashes. And once you step over 150 mods, usually adding eight gigabytes to Minecraft is probably the best thing you can do. There are some mod packs out here that can run 200 mods on six gigs of RAM without any issues. But generally, if you've got the space for it, go eight gigabytes of RAM once you step over that 150 mod mark for mod packs. With that out of the way though, how about this is from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down xyz slash sgh so your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods to your server. We have a one-click installation of mod packs, making it super easy to start a server with the mod pack. And if you want to add plugins to your server, you can do that too. By the way, we also support vanilla servers. People are asking if we do, and of course we do. We support everything when it comes to Minecraft servers. On top of that, if you have any issues along the way, we have an amazing help center to help you out alongside live chat support. So nevertheless, if you want to start your own server, look no further than Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH. Nevertheless, here we are. What if we want to add more RAM to Minecraft though? You know how much you should add? How do you actually add more? Well, to do that, go ahead and click on installations up here at the top and then find the version you want to add more RAM to. This could be a mod pack version. This could be a Forge version, Optifine. Doesn't matter what it is. It's the same process for everything. Hover over it, click the three dots and click on edit. Then from here, what we want to do is click on more options in the launcher there. See that there's that little more options button? Click on that. And then down here at the bottom, we have JVM arguments. This is basically what Minecraft uses to launch, and this includes RAM. So XMX2G means two gigabytes of RAM is dedicated to Minecraft. If this is an M or anything else after the number, change it to G. Just makes things a lot easier. It could be in megabytes. Change it to G. Nevertheless, for us, we're going to go ahead and up this because we're playing vanilla Minecraft to 4G, and I like a bit of overkill in my life. But you could, if you're playing modded Minecraft, do 6 or 8, or if you really want to be crazy, why not 10 gigs of RAM to Minecraft? I really wouldn't recommend going over 10. But nevertheless, we're going to go ahead and go 4. So XMX 4G, just change this number to the amount of RAM you want, and you might need to change M or MB to G there. Nevertheless, once you've got that, go ahead and save, and we can launch Minecraft. With that being said, you shouldn't add more than 50% of your PC's total RAM to Minecraft. And to check your total RAM, go ahead and open up the start menu and then type in system information. Open up system information and then right here we'll be able to find installed physical memory RAM. This is how much RAM your computer has. I have 64 gigs, so I could technically add 32 gigs to Minecraft. That's overkill. Don't really add more than 10 gigs. It's very rarely is more than that ever needed. But if you have 16 gigs of RAM, don't add more than 8 gigs of RAM. If you only have 8 gigs of RAM on your computer, installed physical memory here, don't add more than 4 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and launch this up because you can see we have added the 4 gigs there. And once we're in game, I'll show you how to check and see exactly how much RAM you have dedicated to Minecraft, which can be helpful to know to make sure that everything is working correctly. So here we are, Minecraft is open and in game, all you've got to do to check your RAM is just hit F3, right? So when you join into a world, hit F3. And then in the top right, which is hard for me to, there we go. In the top right, you can see the allocation rate, which is how much RAM is being used. But most importantly, the memory above that is how much RAM is being dedicated. So as you can see, 4,096 megabytes translates to four gigabytes of RAM. You can also see in real time how much of that's being used, 15, 20%. And when it jumps back down, that means the memory and RAM is being cleared. If we run around, it'll use a little more. As you can see, it's getting up to nearly a gig now, all of that stuff. And that's why I said two gigs can usually run Minecraft vanilla, which is what this is, without any problems. Once you add in mods though, things can really change. Nevertheless, if you've got any questions, be sure to let us know in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.